Free, free, free. Everybody loves free. Hey everyone, so do you know what's free? What's free is getting my eternal gratitude for taking a moment out of your very busy day to hit that like button before we get started in this video tutorial. But no, seriously, while I am always very grateful for anybody that does take a moment out of their busy day to do so, there is something else that is free, and that is the money-making t-shirt design apps that I am gonna show you in this video. Yes, in this video, I'm going to be revealing four mystery print-on-demand t-shirt designs that have made their creators thousands of dollars and show you how you could have made these t-shirt designs yourself using the five apps that I'm going to show you in this video. And the best part is that as you will see, four out of five of these apps either are 100% free or they have free account versions that you could take advantage of to start making your own print-on-demand designs today. So. Let's get started by taking a look at our first money-making t-shirt design that has been a super hot seller on the print-on-demand marketplace, Redbubble. So what I've decided to do for this video is to not only show you my five favorite apps, but to also show you how to use them by finding top-selling t-shirts on print-on-demand marketplaces like Redbubble and recreate them. Now, I'm not recreating these t-shirts because I think you should copy them. That's not why. I do not endorse copying other people's products. It is simply to show you how if you had been the one to come up with one of these top selling nurse t-shirt designs like this one here, that you could have made it yourself even as a beginner using the first app that we are going to discuss on the list, which is admittedly my personal favorite app for creating print on demand designs, Canva. Yes, as my longtime subscribers will know, I am genuinely a huge fan of Canva and it is not because I am being sponsored by Canva today. Nope. No, unlike what some people seem to think, just because I like an app doesn't mean that they are sponsoring the video. You're welcome to use my affiliate link to sign up for Canva if you want to thank me for the tutorial and I do always appreciate it, but the reason why I recommend Canva is because I genuinely use Canva myself. It is the app that I use the vast majority of the time if I want to make my own designs and not have to get a designer or an artist to make one for me. Now you have two versions of Canva accounts, the free account and the pro account. Now the pro account does come with some extra pictures and fonts, but as I'll explain later, you don't want to use these. However, you still want to sign up for the pro account, which I'll have a link to in the video description below, because as you'll see in my step-by-step -step tutorial, the pro account lets you save pictures in very high resolution with a transparent background. Now, luckily Canva has a giant 30-day trial. So if you're on a tight budget, register for that free 30-day trial and take advantage of it to make as many designs as possible during that free 30-day period. All right, so with that out of the way, let's use Canva to recreate this top selling red bubble t-shirt step by step. So when you create a new design project in Canva, you get to choose your dimensions. And since I'm designing a t-shirt for Redbubble, I'm gonna use 2400 by 3200 as my dimensions, since that is the standard Redbubble t-shirt dimensions. Although as you'll see later on, we will increase the size of this later. Next, I'm gonna change the background color to black, and that's because this design utilizes white text. So to make it easier for you at home watching this video, I'm just changing the background color to something that will make the text stand out. We'll remove the black background later. And after that, I'm gonna click on elements and look for nurses hats for our picture. I'm gonna filter out the results to only show free non-animated pictures that you can legally use in your designs. Now, you want to make sure that you only use images that are free, not images that have the pro crown symbol next to them, even if you have a pro account. And that's because of this, image and font licenses. Now, most of their free fonts and non-photo pictures like their cartoons and drawings have either a public domain license, which means you can use them in any way you like, or their free media license, which also means that you are allowed to print them onto commercial products that you sell. However, their extra pictures and fonts that have a pro symbol next to them have a much stricter license like this one here, and usually you are not allowed to print these pictures onto products that you sell, and many pro fonts also have strict licenses. And so basically, in my opinion, especially if you are a beginner, it's so much easier to just stick to using the free images and the free fonts so that you don't have to worry about breaking license rules with pro images and fonts. And so even though I recommend that you sign up to the pro Canva account, any pro pictures or fonts should be avoided. So I'm just gonna use this free nurse hat here and change the color of it to be white instead of blue. Now in the design that we are replicating, it was at the top of the design. So to do that, you just click on whatever element you want to move and drag and drop it to where you want it to be. 
And next we're gonna add in some text. So you just click on the text button and click add heading like me and type in your text. Now, again, Canva has lots of fonts to choose from and a handy feature is it groups text into the type of text it is. So if you want a handwritten style, you can browse through the handwritten styles and pick one. But remember, Canva has two different types of fonts. It has fonts only available to pro members, which has a little crown next to it, warning you that it is a pro font. And even though we have a pro account, we don't want to use these because pro fonts usually come with stricter licenses. For me, I have picked a free font and I know it's a free font because it doesn't have the pro crown symbol next to it. So to move your text box around, you just click on it and drag and drop it. And you can also drag it to increase the box size. And you can center your text box by dragging it until you see that purple line appear, which means that the text box is now centered in your design. Now this font here, the Barlow Semi Condensed, is a free Google font, which means it has an open source license that allows it to be used for commercial purposes. And actually, my pro tip for you is that if you ever want to check out your font to make sure that it has a license that you are able to use for commercial products, you can just Google the name of your Font Plus license to find out what license your font has and if it can be used for commercial purposes. And I have yet to find a free font that doesn't, so that's why I recommend beginners just stick to the free fonts. So now I'm gonna go and add in the next text box and in the original design, they chose a bigger, bolder font for the word drink to place emphasis on it. So that's what I've done here. For this one, I've chosen the free font Open Sans. Now, I already knew that this free font does indeed have an open source license because just like with Barlow, Open Sans is a Google font and all fonts made by Google have open source licenses, which means that you can legally use it for commercial products that you sell. Now, the next bit of text in this design was interesting because instead of it using a straight heading font, it was a fun handwritten font. So this time I'm gonna filter the font styles to instead show handwritten fonts and pick one that was similar to the original design. Handwritten fonts, they are very trendy right now, especially for t-shirts aimed at a female market. There are tons of trendy handwritten fonts in Canva that are free, but the font Beth Allen is pretty cool, so we're gonna choose it. And it is, surprise, surprise, another open source Google font. And as you can see, mixing fonts like this is a really highly effective way to create a visually fun design. The key is to mix these fun fonts with more serious fonts just like this design does. And it's a great way to create engaging designs even if you aren't an artist, since as you can see, it's mostly just text and simple graphics. So. If you're interested in making fun text-based designs like this yourself, then my recommendation for you would be to browse through a print-on-demand marketplace like Redbubble and see how people mix the fun and serious fonts together. And then that way you can get inspiration to create your own designs. So now we're gonna replicate the other part of their design where they had the word nurse and then had the wine glass for the letter U. Switching out letters for words for pictures that look similar is a clever, easy way to visually spice up a design and make it more interesting. So for example, a tree is often used in place of the letter I or the letter T, and a coffee mug is used in place of the letter O or U. And a dog face is the letter O and the word dog is very common. Same with cat, with the letter A being used in the word cat with a cat face. So we're gonna look for a wine glass picture and I've still got my search filters set up earlier, making sure to only look for free pictures, even though I have a pro account and have access to pro pictures too. We want to avoid them because we don't have the rights to use them for commercial products. So remember, only choose free pictures, never with a pro crown. And something that's pretty cool is that oftentimes, especially with free pictures, we can change the colors of them. So I'm gonna change the drink color of the wine glass to be white instead of these different shades of yellow and green. But yes, something that I want to reiterate is that just because I'm recreating this design doesn't mean that I think you should copy it. That isn't the purpose of what I'm doing here. I'm simply recreating this to show you that if you had been the one to come up with this design, that you could have used Canva to create the design yourself and upload it to Redbubble. And something that you can do, of course, is take a design like this that someone made and see if you can put your own twist onto it. So, for example, what if it was safety first drink with a doctor, you know? One of the most effective techniques that I've found when it comes to researching coming up with winning designs is to look at what has done well in other niches and to then repurpose a design to my niche. And so, you know, with that, boom, in just a few minutes, we've recreated this design. And if we check out how it looks on a red background, since that is the most common t-shirt color that people buy the design in, it looks really great too. So, you know, white text is definitely better than black for this design. All right, so now that we have finished our design, it is time to save it. And we are finally going to be using the Pro Canva features to do this. 
and we're going to be using these two features. So firstly, we're going to increase the file size by three. This will save our picture in a higher resolution, which means we'll print more vibrantly onto the t-shirts and products that we create. And then secondly, we're going to select that that red background be removed and let the background be transparent and empty. That way, just our text and pictures will get printed onto products, not the red background. If we didn't select this and we kept the background red, then this is what would happen if we didn't make the background transparent. Whereas by keeping the background transparent, uh, our t-shirts are going to look instead like this, which is much nicer. But yes, I went ahead and uploaded our design with a transparent background to Redbubble to check out how it looks. And here it is uploaded to Redbubble and we made it entirely in Canva in just a few minutes. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video and you would like even more free training on print on demand, then you should be sure to download my free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Figure Online Stores Follow to Make Over $10,000 a Month. And you'll find a link to download my free ebook in the video description below. But anyway, back to the video and on to the next app. That is 100% free forever. So here is another top selling t-shirt on Redbubble. This design was released pretty much immediately when 2020 started falling apart back in March and it sold super well ever since. <laughs> now I'm going to recreate this design using two tools. Firstly, I'm going to be using this app here, Photopea, to actually design the shirt. This is a Photoshop clone, except unlike that, you don't have to download anything or buy anything. The free version of this works great. And secondly, I also use this tool here, Open Clip Art, to find a picture of a star for free that I'm legally allowed to use in products that I create and sell. And this is an awesome website that lets you find free images that you can legally use in products that you make. So if you wanna add pictures to your print-on-demand products and not have to pay someone to draw it, you should definitely check out this website. And the reason why I had to go to Open Clip Art is because unlike with Canva that has a bunch of images installed, Photopea has none. So if you want to use images in your designs, you will have to find them yourself. So to get started, I'm going to create a new file. I'm also going to set the size and I'm going to set the DPI to be 300, which means it will print in crisp, clear resolution onto the shirt. That's essentially what we did in Canva when we massively increased the file size when we saved it at the end. With Photopea, instead of doing that when you save the file, you set it to be in a crisp, clear resolution before you begin. I'm also setting the background to be transparent, unlike with Canva, where again, you make your background transparent at the end. With Photopea, you can make your background transparent before you begin designing. Because of this, even though the design we are recreating has white text and white pictures, I'm going to be using black text and black pictures. <laughs> just to keep things easier while you follow along with me on screen so that you can easily see what I'm doing. So please just imagine that the pictures and the text I'm using is white instead of black. So I'm not gonna lie, I think it's gonna become apparent very quickly as I design the shirt that Canva is a lot more beginner friendly compared to Photopea. And I'd say that Photopea is a true graphic design app. It's more of a basic free version of a paid app that I frequently use, Photoshop. It took me years to get good at using Photoshop and while I still use Canva for designing, I'll use Photoshop for resizing pictures and things like that. Now, because there is so much that I'm doing with Photopea that requires a lot of explanation, I am not going to explain why I'm pressing the buttons or clicking the options that I'm doing. If you are confused by what you were seeing on screen, like for example, if you don't know what layers means or what channels mean, then this app is probably not the best app to start with. For some of you though, with design experience, you'll absolutely love it because it's free, but for most of you, probably not. So. Instead of explaining every little thing I'm doing, I thought I'd take it as a good opportunity to chat a little bit more about image licenses and how to find free images online without breaking copyright laws. So when you're creating print on demand designs for say your Redbubble store or your Etsy store or your Shopify store, you'll probably want to use pictures. Like me here, I'm using a picture of a star in this design here. Well, the way that most people would find a star image to include in their design is they would go to Google Images and look for a star and click on the first one and use it. But usually this would be a mistake because you see, the moment that you draw a picture such as a star, it is immediately protected by copyright laws. Any picture that you or someone else draws is by default considered a copyrighted piece of artwork. You don't need to register it, you don't need to do anything. It is 100% yours and you have the exclusive rights to use your picture. No one else is allowed to use it but you. But you see, not everybody who draws a picture minds if someone else uses it. There are some very kind artists out there who draw pictures and they want to let others use their pictures for free. 
Well, if they want to kindly do this, they are allowed to. And so what these kind artists essentially do is when they upload their picture online for other people to find, they will make a written note that states what people can and can't do with their artwork i.e. what type of license your picture has. So some people will upload a picture online and say, you can use my picture, but you have to put a note next to it, attributing me as the artist. This is an attribution license. And then some people will upload their artwork and then give it a written note stating that it's part of the public domain. It's got a public domain license. Well, generally what you want to look for if you're looking for free artwork to use in products that you sell is artwork that has been given a public domain license. A public domain license means that the artist has deemed that this is part of the public domain and any artwork that is in the public domain has zero restrictions. That means you can use it for any reason, including printing it onto t-shirts that you sell and you're allowed to modify the picture too. So the star I'm using in this design was uploaded to the public domain. And yeah, as you can see, by using that public domain star that was uploaded to Open Clip Art, I was able to recreate this design in Photopea. <laughs> Coming up with funny t-shirt designs like this that customers love can definitely be a challenge, which is why inside my premium video training course, the Ecom Clubhouse, I show my techniques for using other top selling t-shirts to help me come up with my own top selling designs to sell too. If you're interested in seeing if my course is right for you, I'll have a link to it in the video description below. Something else I want to also note about Photopea is that it has lots of free fonts too. And like Canva, I have yet to find a font in there that is free that does not have an open source license. Because just like with pictures, fonts also have licenses. When somebody makes a font and designs it, they can choose whether they make you pay to use it or whether they'll make it available for free. Well, the good news is that all the fonts you see in Photopea are 100% free. They have a free license and they are allowed to be used on products that you sell. I have yet to find one that does not have a free license like this. And Photopea has tons of really unique, cool, trending fonts to choose from. So you've got lots of options for creating cool typography designs using Photopea if you're willing to learn how to use it. But it's definitely more advanced to use compared to Canva, which has been designed to be extremely beginner friendly. So then let's move on to the next step. And this is way more beginner friendly compared to Photopea. So here is the next t-shirt design that we are going to create. This is a top selling print on demand t-shirt on Etsy. So we're gonna be making our own version of this t-shirt by using this app here, Placeit. And yes, unfortunately, this is the one app on my list that is not free. You will have to pay to use it. However, luckily I have a discount coupon that you can use to get 15% off of it. If you click on the link in the video description to register for Placeit, you'll immediately get 15% off your subscription, which is neat. So. What is Placeit? Well, it's a super handy tool for print on demand sellers. The main way that I use it is for their mock-up photos. So for example, if you've watched my previous videos on this channel, you may have seen my example tutorial store, Brood Treats. So you see this photo that I have here of this girl wearing my t-shirt? Well, I didn't take this photo. Instead, I came to Placeit and found this photo in their database. And it's not just t-shirts they have. They have mugs, masks, leggings, iPhone cases, all sorts of items, but yes, I found this t-shirt photo, uploaded my design and quickly made a lifestyle picture of it for my tutorial store. So that is the main way that I use Placeit for their mock-up lifestyle photos and I absolutely love it. But that is not the only tool that Placeit has for print on demand store owners. Nope, it also has a design tool that lets you create print on demand designs. They're templates that you can use to get started such as t-shirt design templates, or like me, you can just start from scratch and Probably the biggest strength of Placeit is the sheer number of fonts that you can use. It is not an exaggeration to say that Placeit has hundreds of fonts uploaded to it. If you want to make some cool designs featuring trendy typography, then you will be spoiled for choices here. And while Canva does an okay job at grouping the fonts together so that you can search for a particular type of font, Placeit makes it exceptionally easy to quickly find the type of font that you want. So for example, if you wanted to create a t-shirt for gamers, then it's really easy to come into the gaming category and find a gaming related font. So for most beginners who can't draw, typography based designs featuring trendy or funny slogans are probably going to be the simplest products to start making money with. And so choosing an app that has lots of fonts installed for you will make creating typography designs way, way easier. Like it was really easy for me to find a font that was similar to the t-shirt that we're recreating because of the way that Placeit groups their fonts together and the way that they are laid out in a tile pattern rather than just in one big scrolling list like Canva. So it's definitely a superior way to do it. 
However, unlike Canva, Placeit does not feature a free trial, or at least not at the time of me uploading this video, which is a shame. So, you know, pros and cons. But if I could take any feature from Placeit and add it into Canva, it would definitely be their font feature. Placeit makes it super easy to scroll through hundreds of fonts at a glance. I still prefer Canva personally, I'm not gonna lie, but I really do like that feature and I wish Canva would add it into their app. And I just wanna clarify something here. Whenever I say I like any sort of product, people come in for comments and be like, oh, you must be being sponsored and paid to say that you like these products. Well, no, I'm not. I have affiliate links if you choose to use them, but just to clarify, I do actually run an e-commerce business and I genuinely use both Placeit and Canva. I recommend these not because anyone is paying me to. I recommend them because I actually use these and I find them helpful. And so I hope that other people will find them helpful too. And people often want to know which tools I use and well, these are the tools I genuinely use. So adding in this text, it was super easy. And it's also very easy to add in pictures. Places art team actually draws a lot of the pictures in here themselves. So you'll find some original pictures that you can't find anywhere else online. And all of these you are legally allowed to use on products that you sell, like print on demand designs. I personally think that this picture of a donut here, it's, it's super cute and I love it. And so I'm gonna use this picture here when recreating that t-shirt design that sold well on Etsy. And it's actually a popular slogan that's done well on several different versions of that t-shirt on Etsy. But yeah, boom, look at that. We've created our own version of that top selling shirt with place its design feature. But that's not all because we've still got a fourth winning t-shirt design to recreate. And that is this t-shirt here. This one is pretty interesting. This Etsy store generally gets about 15% of its customers leaving a review. Well, if we come and take the reviews left for the shirt 145 and use that number to do the math, that means that this shirt has made over $20,000 in sales. And something that's pretty cool is that to create a simple one word text design like this on Etsy or a Shopify store, you don't even need a dedicated graphic design tool like Canva or Photopea or Placeit. Nope, instead you can create super simple text-based designs like this straight within these two apps. And one of those is Printify, and doing so is super simple. Just come to the product that you want to design, and then click start designing. And then once it's loaded up, click add your design and then come and click custom text. And here you can just write slogans directly within the app. Printify doesn't have a huge selection of fonts to choose from, but for simple one word designs like this, that often doesn't matter. Printify's small yet curated selection of fonts often does the job. All of these are fonts that you are legally allowed to use when you're creating products to sell. So you don't have to worry about using a font that you need to buy a license for. All of these are free because free, free, free. Everybody loves free. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. You can resize the text and move the text around the product you're creating by just dragging and dropping it. Uh, I also just want to note that you can't save this design as a picture. So this only works if you are integrating Printify directly into your print on demand store, such as an Etsy store or a Shopify store. You cannot use this to create a design for Redbubble or Teespring where they have their own integrated print on demand service and app. And the same thing applies to the next app on our list, Printful. Here at Wholesale Ted, most of my viewers have print on demand stores and they are split into two groups. The first group have opened their own private store with either Shopify or Etsy. Neither Etsy or Shopify have a print on demand service or app, so you need to integrate an outside one. And as my viewers know, Printful and Printify are the two that I use. The other group of my viewers sell on an online marketplace like Redbubble or Teespring that already has their own print on demand service. And so you don't need to integrate Printful or Printify into it. Well, if you're selling on one of those marketplaces, then you can't use this feature to create text-based designs because when I created this design with Printful, I don't actually get to keep the image file to save and upload elsewhere. Instead, it's saved directly within Printful. So to sell this t-shirt, I would need to sell it directly with Printful. So I only recommend this app to sellers either selling in their own private store, such as with Shopify or on Etsy, who are choosing to use either Printful or Printify as their print on demand supplier. But as you can see, Printful's editor, it's even more robust uh, and it comes with free pictures and clip art that you can use. So if you're using Printful, then this is a great way to quickly make simple text-based designs without needing to bother with an external graphic editing app. 
So, did you learn something new? If you did, be sure to hit subscribe and click that little notification bell next to it so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you'd like to learn about another free app that you can use to create profitable t-shirts, then you should be sure to watch my video, how to make free money online with a phone. So go ahead, watch my next video, and I'll see you over there.